chapter 3 and Philippians chapter 3. Let's go to Philippians chapter 3 first. Uh, what time is it? Okay. I left my phone this morning, so let's see. Philippians chapter 3, reading from verse 30. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. This one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind me. Uh, I think somebody here today need to forget some things. Look at your neighbor and say, just leave some things alone. Some of you have been digging up the past, but you ought to leave some things alone. Some things that are dead, you need to let them stay dead. Stop making noise in the drum, son. Uh, some relationship that you were in and they're trying to get back with you, uh, you need to leave those deadbeat relationships alone. Some people that walked out of your life, you need to let them go. Oh, I'm preaching good already, but I'm not getting no shouters. Uh, Hallelujah. So let me preach to myself, uh, Kevin. Some people that have walked out of your life, uh, I let them go. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm praying for you to come back in my life. If God took you out of my life, why should I pray for Hallelujah. you to come back? The devil is a liar. You ever see some people that you knew them 20 years ago and they've gone somewhere and no contact and now they're searching for you on Facebook all of a sudden that want to reconnect. Why should I reconnect with something that's dead? I, I, I have to connect to something that's living. I cannot connect to something that belongs in my past. And children of God got to learn to leave the past alone. Stop reaching back to your past and pick up stuff that God took out of your life. Oh, God help me up in here. Uh, you got to, anybody that don't belong into your future should not be in your life today. Anybody that was not meant to be in your future, God took them out and put them in your past. You notice something about a car uh, that the bigger the screen is before you. They have three mirrors and they call them your rear view mirror. You notice how small they are. Uh, the rear view mirror are small like that because you were never meant to drive and look behind. I feel a shout right there. You know, God, I feel a praise break right there. I could shout all by myself. Oh God, it seems like I'm way out on this message all by myself today. Uh, so, 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 uh, you have to focus on what is before you and leave the past behind. Does somebody leave your baby mother alone? Does somebody leave your baby father alone? Tell them they don't want to hear you. Tell them. Uh, yeah, tell them, get out of that relationship. Get out of that bed. That man don't belong to you. Lord have mercy. Come on, talk to them. You not. You, you, you scared? Ain't nobody, can't nobody lick you inside here. This is the house of the Lord. Amen. Yes. Uh, oh, God. Uh, Bridget, I count on myself. But this one thing I do forgetting those things which are behind. And reaching forth unto those things which are before. Look at what I do. I press. Mm. I press. Uh, Lord have mercy. Slap somebody and say just press. Towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. In Christ Jesus. Jump over to uh, Colossians chapter 3. And let us anchor this text. Verse 1. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Verse 2. Set your affection on things above and not on things of the earth. I, I, I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I will not 
distracted. somebody else and say, I refuse to be distracted. Uh, touch the turn to the person behind you now and point right in their face and, and tell them stay focused. Oh uh, yes, yes, yes. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this word up in air, up in air today. Thank you for this word. Bless this word right now. Trust me one more time. With your anointing in Jesus' name, somebody ought to shout glory. I will not be distracted. I, I hope not to preach too long, as weak as I am, so I better not belabor the point too long. Uh, but one of the things I know, beloved, is that you cannot serve God by emotions. None of us inside here can serve God by the way we feel. Hallelujah. Oftentimes you cannot trust your emotion because your emotion will lie to you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Not only will your emotion lies, but your yeah. emotion will play games on you. Yeah. Because this minute you're going to feel one way, and the other minute you're going to feel another way, and the next minute you're going to feel another way. So that's the reason why we don't serve God by our feeling, but we serve God by the Spirit. If you decide to do anything in life, you have to be determined that you cannot deal with it from a sensual perception. A sensual perception has to do with my five senses. I cannot serve God on an intellectual level, but I have to serve God on a spiritual level. I have to understand that coming to God, it's not about my intellectuality. Hallelujah. It's not about my physicality. It doesn't have nothing to do with how I look, nor what I know. If I'm going to serve God, it has to be by the Spirit. And you see, and that's why Solomon talked about praising God, uh, but his praise was not an inconsistent praise. But his father David said, I will bless the Lord at all. Why did he affirm that? Uh, saying I will bless the Lord at all times is an affirmation and uh, it is something that you have to pull and put a lid on it. You have to grip it. You have to will it because if you do not make up your mind to will it, uh, then you are going to fall to bless the Lord. It means that sometimes you're going to want to praise him uh, and sometimes you're not going to want to praise him. Uh, and that's why the word of the Lord say everything that have breath can praise the Lord. Uh, everybody can be a praiser, but a praiser don't praise God all the time. Uh, because praise have to do with circumstance. Praise have to do with how I feel. Praise have to do with my situation. Uh, a praiser prays sometime, but a worshiper prays all the time. Praisers, because understand this, beloveds, that when we go back and look at the word and the name Judas, the word Judas have is derivative from the Greek, which is called Judah, and Judah mean praise. So it was a praiser that betrayed. It, uh, it was a praiser that stabbed him in the back. It was a praiser that kept coming to church that decided to kill him. Uh, so watch those people that talk about praise and love to praise God. There's some killer praisers. Oh, good God. Uh, when Nehemiah was building the house, it was people from the same tribe of Judah that criticized Nehemiah. And look at what they said. If a fox came and blew on this wall, it's going to... Oh God, am I talking to somebody in here today? So I don't want to be a praiser. I want to be a worshiper. A worshiper, worship God all the time. 
Uh, a worshiper worship God in spite of my challenges, in spite of my situation, in spite of my circumstances. I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. If my, if my daughter gets sick, I still praise him. If my son gets locked up, I still praise him. If uh, they cut off my light, I still praise him. If I don't have a job tomorrow, I still praise him. If they tell me no, I still praise him. If your husband walk out of your life, you should still. Oh God, if my wife walk out of my life, I still praise him because my praise is not dictated by my circumstances. I cannot trust my senses and I cannot trust my emotions because my emotions they go up and down especially when you deal with femininity and that's talking about the female she gets upset at a time of month oh good god somebody ran out of here on wednesday because it was their time of month and that's the reason why you can't trust that oh good god almighty help me up in air up in air up in lord good god oh lord so i have to learn that my emotions are topsy-turvy i don't know about you but i remember when my wife got pregnant and this minute she said baby could you buy me some coconut water and by the time i go get her the coconut water she said i don't feel for that i want some pepsi and by the time i went and get some pepsi she said no can you get me a piece of chicken and by the time i go get the chicken she said no can i get a piece of pork but if i don't understand her emotion i'm going to get mad i'm going to get upset i remember one evening we were passing devil house and she smelled the ice cream while she was pregnant and said i need an ice cream and you got to get it now by the time i go and get the ice cream she said no i feel for some jerk pork i said the devil is alive and that's the reason why it's the same way your senses operate it's the same way your emotions operate and because of that you cannot let your senses distract you from serving god i'm going to my topic you didn't know and that's the reason why you cannot allow your feelings to distract you from serving god and that's why now you have to have what is called an affirmation in your will you've got to will to do it you've got to will to come to church you see if you don't will to come to church you're not going to come to church because something is going to happen to let you don't come Are you sure you have flu? Oh, good God, something is going to happen. Somebody is going to disturb your peace. Somebody is going to say something you don't like. Somebody is going to upset your equilibrium. Somebody is going to mess up your mind. And if you follow people, you wouldn't come back to church. And that's why you have the will to do it. You have the will to serve God. You have to will to worship God. You have to will to praise God. And that's why you have to have what is called an as yet praise. In other words, you don't have the miracle yet. But even though you don't have the miracle, I told you later on early this morning to put a praise on it. I don't have the car yet, but I praise him in advance. But I praise him in advance. I don't get the ring yet. But I praise him in advance. I don't get my miracle yet. But I praise him in advance. I am a yet praise. If a believer that's going to walk with God, you have to have a yet praise. I'm telling you, beloved, that there is something that's going to distract you. There is something that's going to come to detract your mind from serving God. But you've got to let the devil know, I refuse to be distracted. Look at your neighbors and stay focused. Hallelujah. I can't preach like I feel. I better bring the ship in now. It 
was people that allowed Moses to miss this promise. Hallelujah. It was people that caused Joshua to say for me and my eye. I will praise the Lord. It was people that allowed Paul to say I am an apostle. It was people that caused Jesus to be nailed to the cross. Every believer gonna have distraction. Distraction comes in many forms and comes in many shapes. Hallelujah. Your neighbor could be a distraction. Oh God Almighty. Your brokenness could be a distraction. Your husband could be a distraction. Your wife could be a distraction. Being poor could be a distraction. Being sick can be a distraction. Your baby father could be a distraction. Your baby mama could be a distraction. Your landlord could be a distraction. Your kids could be a distraction. Your job could be a distraction. Your money could be a distraction. But I refuse to be distracted. So the right to say, seek, seek, seek the things that are above. If I'm seeking, it means I got to push beyond pressure. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, push beyond pressure. Hallelujah. When you get the pressure cooker and you put in the beef or you put in the meat, the pressure got to push beyond pressure for the peas, the pressure for the meat, the pressure, the pressure got to push beyond pressure. They are some pressure that comes into your life, but you got to learn to push beyond pressure. So, so the right is a press the water, the mark.
to let the devil know, devil, you can't distract me no more. You can't use baby father and distract me. You can't use my kids to distract me. You can't use husband to distract me. You can't use money to distract me. You can't use sickness to distract me. I will not be distracted. Because of how I felt, I didn't get to preach Colossians. I preached Philippians. But it says seek. Then one of the things it said, set. I preach that another time. Because not only must you seek, but you have to set. It's one thing to seek, it's another thing to set. But everybody in here today is going through. And I submit to you, whatever it is you're going through, is a distraction to your destiny. It's a distraction to your purpose. I refuse to be distracted. Satan, today is the last day. You're going to distract me. I've been distracted long enough. Today is the last you're gonna use that thing to distract. You're gonna use that woman to distract. You're gonna use that man, that house, that job, that van, that car. Today is the last day. I will not be distracted. To all you brothers that are not married. These girls walk around naked every day with their voluptuous body. Everything these days is on sale. And some of it is not even for sale. It's free. Like I went somewhere the other day and the girl said to another girl, don't you see his ring on his finger? I looked at it from he walked in. That's how female are. They check you out before you even know it. So before I got in there, they scoped me up. Who knew I was married from who didn't even know? Not because I'm a bishop. Don't mean I don't get temptation. But I can't be distracted. There was a girl from my workplace, madly in love with me. And every day they said, leave pastor alone, because he don't want you, you love his wife. But she said, man, I just, I just love to see him when he's working. Yeah, when he's working, you know, she imagined all kinds of things. And it's one of them girls in there with me love. But I can't afford to be distracted. You see, the devil is not going to send what you don't like. Nothing can distract you that you don't have a proclivity for. If something going to be a distraction to you, you have to have something in you that connects you to that thing that can distract you. If it's not in you, the devil can't use it to be a distraction. You know the reason, the reason why man is distracting you, because your mind is on man. Hallelujah. 
The reason why females are distracting you because all you're thinking about is sex. Hallelujah. Yes. You come to church, Bishop, pray for my mind. Yes. Your spirit needs to be saved. Because yes. if your spirit ain't saved, forget the mind. Yes. What is Bishop saying? If you were coming to Bible class, you would have known yes. the difference between your soul and spirit and your mind. But I refuse to be distracted. Bring whatever you want to bring. Send whatever you want to send. Throw whatever you want to throw. The one that the Paul said, nakedness, whether height nor depth, principalities nor power, things present nor things to come. Neither angel, neither death, nor the famine, nor nakedness, nor height, nor death. But that was Paul's testimony. So please don't quote it and say you. Because if you were to be naked, I know you wouldn't be up in here. So stop saying people's testimony. I don't know about what Paul said, but I know I refuse to be distracted. Yeah. Yeah. Satan, you have to wheel and come again. Because yeah. after today, I've learned that everything that's been happening in my life was a distraction to my purpose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil know you have a purpose. I tell you something about distraction. Distraction comes to disqualify you from reaching the prize. It's not about how fast you start the race. Usain Bolt can never start a race, but you are not going to reach that prize before he gets there. So don't watch the people that start off fast. Yeah. See, a lot of people come to this ministry mission. They start off so fast. But they're like brambles. Yeah. Yeah. Burn right out quickly. Some of them go, oh, Bishop, we'll never leave. Ah, we love them. <laughs> Their fire just lit up for one week. And burn right out. Anything you put before God can be your distraction. Whatever is distracting you right now, it's something that's in you that's causing it to happen. You have to pray and say, God. Give me the strength to remove this distraction. Because I don't want to backslide. I don't want to go back. I have to forget the past. I have to reach for the things which are before. I have to push. I have to press. But I refuse. To be distracted. Abba Shai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come here, Minister Grant. Oh God Almighty. As weak as I am, hold up your hands. Come closer. Lift up your hands. Both hands. Every distraction. Every distraction. Remove it from his mind now. Move it from his spirit now. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come here, Janella. Hallelujah. Give somebody your phone. Every distraction. Hallelujah. Lift up both of your hands. Every distraction that the enemy come to shift you from your purpose. 
every distraction that the devil come to take you out of your commission. I stand in my governmental order right now. Every distraction. I rebuke it right now. Every distraction. I rebuke it right now. In Jesus name. Come here. Sis. With the green wrap. Come here. Shed that. Lift up your hands. Every distraction. Strengthen her right now. Every distraction gone. That the enemy sent to let her lose focus. Come here, blue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands up. Every distraction. Every distraction. Every mind demon. Every distraction. Come here, just a shake. Manda, hold up your hands. Every distraction right now. We break it. We pull down every stronghold. Everything that the enemy sent to take you out of your purpose. I refuse to be distracted. Every distractive spirit I bind you. Release her in Jesus' name. Come here, Brother Mansion. Come here. Lift your hands up. Both of your hands. Every distraction. Every distraction. Every distraction. Come here, Brother Sean. Run, come. God say you are full with distraction. Hold up both of your hands. Abba high. For the enemy has desire to sift you like wheat. The devil have you in a... Uh, you ever seen a... Uh, when you grate the juice and... Oh, strainer. The devil have you in a strainer. And from the time you got baptized, this is what he's doing to you. If you notice anything about strainer, is that whatever... The strainer picks up, it sip it out. As you were walking, come up here. I'm trying not to prophesy. I just wanted to lay hands. Uh, but God tell me that the enemy have you in the strainer. And you have allowed him to do it. So God said to pray for you like how we prayed for Peter. For your faith to be restored. Every distraction that has come into your life. Every spirit of distraction, I call back your mind. I call back your spirit into the house of God. I call, I send the Holy Ghost to arrest your spirit. Manda, come here, sister. Come here. Hold up your hands. You're carrying the whole mountain. But God said to tell you, be strong in the Lord and the power of His might. God said, greater is ahead before. God said, the blessing that He has for you is going to be more than the trouble that you're facing now. The Lord said, as hard as your trouble is, he's going to double the blessing. A lot of you don't know how she suffer and still go to church. Oh, she be a hungry and still go to church. And some other cross is now I worship God. And she in here worship whether she have food or not food or money or not money. God said, because of your faithfulness, la -ba 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 -ba, double for your trouble. Makashaya, la -ba -ba -ka Ribba Bakata Papa Bam 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 Shabba Bakataya 
every spirit. Move from around her, move from around her, Michelle. Let me circle the woman of God. Shandabaha. Every spirit, Laba. Shandabaha. I bind poverty. I bind your poverty. Dirty spirit. Every, every generation. Every generational demon. I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. I bind you. Every destruction. Pop, pop, pop. Come here, girl. You. I hear you praying to the Lord. You're saying, Lord, I want to go deep. I want more of you. Am I right? Yes, sir. What did he say? Am I a prophet or not? Come on, sir. God said, because you don't desire money and vanity, but you desire more of me. God said, because you ask, God said, because you ask, he's going to honor your request and give you more. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I hear the Lord say, just like Solomon, I'm increasing your strength. I'm increasing your anointing. I'm increasing your power right now. Manda Bahaya, double for your trouble. Lebo Kata. Shandaba. Riba Bahataya. Come here, Vanessa. Hold up your hands. Shanda Bahaya. Every distraction. Every enemy. Every mouth that is on you. Every mouth that's monitoring you. There's some people that say I'm still giving her time. It's only for a show. She's not going to make it. She's going to backslide. She's going to leak. Oh God, I hear them talking. I hear them talking about you, Vanessa. Watch. Watch the people that are around you. They're not, they're not with you. They're not for you. They're, they're, as soon as they turn your back, they're tearing you down. Double for your trouble. Every distraction. I give you power today. To walk upon serpent and scorpion. Every enemy. Every enemy. I release apostolic power. Shanda Mahala. Of your how much kids your parents have? Of the six of you, where do you fall? Good God from the Lord. Oh Lord have mercy. The power of prophecy. 
enemy is attacking his heart. Not only is your heart missing beat, but I feel your heart swelling a little bit. God say you think too much. You worry too much. Lord said to leave the things that you can't do to him. That's the reason why every now and then, do you feel like you have a pain in your heart? Something like some stick in your heart? Come on somebody, talk to me up in here. I haven't prophesied in a while, have I? And then the day when I'm dying, I'm prophesying. That is a lie, I'm not going to die. I'm not talking about physical death, y'all. <laughs> Whatever the hears were that the Lord give you, I had seven more to it. The Bible said, Ezekiah prayed. And the Lord had seven more. Six kids. And he's the last. Which that last make it seven. And the Lord said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Power. Come here deacon and stand up there quickly. Don't know how much strength I have. Lift up your hands. Faithful, faithful is the God. And reaping the harvest God promised me. Take back what the devil stole from me. I rejoice today. For I shall recover it all. So I rejoice today. For I shall recover it all. God said everything that you have spent on this church. You shall recover it all. God said, For doors shall be opened for you, uncommon doors. You shall visit Western Union like never before. Money is coming from over oh good God. I send for money. I call money to find. I call money to locate you. Even from this church, people just go walk and put money in your hands. La baka shataya, manda baba kushoto yego, shada basata, li baba kato kalado. I don't even touch her yet. La ba, shande la ba, I feel God up in here. Jesus Christ, what a power, what a power. God, God, Lord, God Almighty. Power, power, power. Jesus Christ, watch God, watch God, watch God, watch God, watch God, watch God. Hey, 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 hey. I release it. God is up to something in this house. Come in. You with a kerchief. Come. You sent me a letter. I haven't read the letter yet. From last week. But now, wanted to read it last night. By the time I took the pills, I was knocked out. I was saying to my wife, I've been knocked out for three nights now. I don't even know when I fall asleep. 
I brought it to work. Can you excuse Tuesday one of those days to read it? Because of everything, I, I still, I still haven't read it. So I don't know what you wrote in the letter. But I know God is a healer. I know God is a miracle working God. And I know you love the Lord. And I know you were not born this way. And I know it's not source or so. And I know it's people do your son. And people say you're too bossy. And you're too hype. And you're going like. And you're full of yourself. Some of it is true. Can I talk to you? But God said, I'm going to touch your body. Because he's saying, I'm giving you one more chance to serve me. Did you hear what I say? God says he's not going to cut you off without remedy. He's going to give you one more chance to surrender. What date is today? 25th, watch God. If you don't obey God, don't blame me. Don't blame God. For anything that happened to you. You were one. For God said, I am a jealous God. Do you know you have work to do in the church? Do you know you have gifts inside of you that the church needs? Yeah. You sit down there with your gifted self and let the devil sit on your head. Ah, good God Almighty. Oh, good God Almighty. It's not me, it's God talking to you. I am only an instrument. I don't know nothing about you. Amen. But God made you, so God has to know everything, and the Holy Ghost doesn't tell a lie. Shaba bakata, lama no lama basito, sekundo robo shita batata, lama sa kushikiti, raba sutu lama sekundo batata katush kate. Move from behind our mission. In the black one come here. You with the hand up in the head like a unicorn. But watch that cross as I look behind her. I want you to turn in here. Oh good God. Hold up your hands. Praise the name of the Lord. God is a good God. Yes, he is. God is a good God. Yes, he is. God is a good God. Yes, 
I'm looking at your family around you. I see God up in here. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Somebody say Holy Ghost. Somebody say speak Lord. Somebody say speak Lord. Giving up is not an option. Giving up is not an option. Because that's where you are. Low the ball. That's how you feel. Low the ball. God says I should pray. Strength for your man. Strength for your spirit. God says you should watch your surroundings. For I see blood around you. The Holy Ghost said there are some people that are watching you. Lord have mercy, help me here today. Everything I see, I can't say. It's too serious. But open your eyes. See, this church is your only refuge. If you ever stop coming to this church, you're dead. Try it and save my life, man. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. Strength, Lord. Strength to a man. Blood coverage. I release angels where you are at the crossroad. Every deceptive plan that the enemy have against you, I reverse it now. I reverse it now. I turn the blood into liquid fire. Jesus Christ. The Lord said, You're trying. You're willing. God said, She wants to serve. You. She has a deserve, de de determination. She has a desire. But sometimes the cares of the world bombard you. Sometimes you feel like there is nobody but you. You feel all alone by yourself. You feel strong. But God said, I should remind you that you are never alone. He said, even when you feel like you're alone, you are never alone. For God said, there is a calling over your life, my daughter. And the devil have fought you all your life to distract you. The Lord said, everything that has happened in your life to this point was a distraction. Today is the 25th of July. God said, you can turn around your life now if you want to. Today is the last Makosha. The last day. When I lay my hands upon you, the power of God is going to rush through your body like electricity. After today, you will never be the same again. You're not even going to feel the same again. Whenever you don't come to church, you're going to feel so uncomfortable. And I hear the Lord say, as you grow, the Lord said, there is elevation power. Shanda Bahaya. Marco Shah. Libada Satola. Ra, 
Kushanda. Come here, my sister with the baby. Not you, married woman. Shade, you come already, you green. How is married life treating you? Yes, like everything. Praise the Lord. You're the one who wants to get married. So it's going to have ups and downs, just like everything. Lord say I should pray strength. God say you're carrying a burden for your daughter. Your family is resting on you. You're praying and you're praying, but you feel like your prayer alone. Am I talking the truth? Somebody said prophesy. Somebody said prophesy, man of God. Eva Shanta. Everything that's on you, there's some rats.